Now to some education news. An update for some college students in Central Georgia. Middle Georgia State is getting their campus ready to return to campus this fall. Well, that is where our morning reporter Pepper Baker is joining us live from this morning to show us how they're enforcing safety guidelines. And Pepper, it looks like you've got a jump start on that. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, starting today, the University System of Georgia is requiring everyone who goes inside of their school buildings to wear a mask. Now, that's just one of the many safety protocols Middle Georgia State is enforcing for their students before they return this August. There are things that we know we're supposed to be doing, but it's kind of a reminder to wash your hands, to social distance, um, wear your face mask. Middle Georgia State Vice President of Enrollment Jennifer Sinander oversees the preparations to make sure students return to campus safely. We follow the university system guidelines and so now masks are required um, and so our faculty, staff and students will be wearing masks as they return to campus. They're giving students and staff four reusable masks. Denander helped order decals and signage that are placed all around campus. They're adjusting classroom sizes and administrative appointments. Now, booking systems allows our students to make appointments and remain in their vehicles until it's time for their appointment and they can come in and meet with our offices. It's also a good time for the new Lakeview Point Residence Hall to open. Students moving in will be the first ones to live in the brand new dorm style building. They'll have sanitation supplies available around campus. We have hand sanitizer available for all of our students. Um, they're either attached to the wall or freestanding. They're all over all five of our campuses as well as um, the, the facilities will be cleaned um, every evening and throughout the day um, as pro protective measures as well. Now the University System of Georgia asked their institutions to prepare for three phases of their reopening plan. The first, returning to that face-to-face full, -face full instruction. The second, starting face-to-face -face and then having to transition to online. And then the third, just having your um, classes completely online. That way, they are prepared for all possible outcomes if the status of COVID-19 changes. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. Staff members head back to campus on August 3rd and classes start on August 12th. Well, today, a couple of churches in Macon are hosting grocery giveaways if you need it. You can head on over to the Community Church of God on Bethesda Avenue. Each Wednesday, they're giving away 500 family food boxes as well as 500 gallons of milk. It runs from 3 to 5. Tremont Temple Baptist Church on Bloomfield Road will also hand out milk and food to those who need it. That starts at 1. They are asking that you stay in your car and wear a mask. Also, Greater Jordan Chapel AME Church in Jones County is giving out food and milk today. That's on Highway 22 East. It starts at noon and will continue until all of the food is gone. Also at noon, the Perry Lions Club is giving away food. They will be in the Bank of Perry parking lot on Main Street. Every car driving through will get a 20 pound box of fresh produce directly from the Atlanta's farmer market. They do have about 2000 boxes to give away.